Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDCQ. So today I have another pocket dump for you. If you want to know what I have carried this past week and my thoughts on it, come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So uh, this past week has kind of been much of the same. The weather is getting cooler, so heavier, bigger, larger items are gonna be coming out. Um, wearing pants and jackets and all kinds of stuff with extra pockets and bulkier, heavier duty you know, clothes allow me to carry cooler items. So definitely look forward to that, but uh, rocking two watches as always standard watch on one wrist uh, that is the Casio uh, it is a mud resist one super cheap affordable one you can find these at Walmart Amazon like 20 bucks hard to beat a watch at that price that is that good um, on the other wrist here I have my standard Apple watch I uh, love it, love having the fitness tracker and all the things and capabilities that that gives. So two watches it is. Um, rocking a hat today, not rocking the EDCQ one, but the Mothman, cause why not? Uh, clipped into the pocket, the Sabenza. Hard, hard, hard to beat this knife. And why would you? I mean, it's, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous knife and I need to clean it but I mean it looks good it feels good it's lightweight but it does not feel like a toy so many lightweight knives that I have they'll feel chintzy they'll feel you know like they'll they'll feel lightweight and and like they yeah but this one this, it feels like a work horse and it is like, this is made so well, so well that you can actually, you know, put this knife to work for you and not end up, you know, abusing it by doing that. Uh, and then inside of the pocket here, I have a whole, whole, whole lot of coinage today. That's definitely not normal for me. I have to empty that out tonight. Listerine breath strips as per usual. Gotta have the fresh breath. And then my small little 20 sided die. Excellent thing to have in the pocket. And then here I have the, uh, the Rambler. This is the uh, Swiss Army Knife Rambler. And so with this, you have the uh, blade and then you have this uh, tool it has a lot going on. You've got a cap lifter. I think uh, this works to peel oranges. Uh, you also have a 3D Phillips head right there, which is a very nice touch. So this tool just does a lot. You've got a whole lot going on, perhaps a wire stripper right there. Not exactly sure. But you got a lot going on with this tool, which is very cool. And I really, really like the, the 3D Phillips head. You have the blade. And then on the reverse side, you have the file and the awesome Victorinox scissors. Really hard to beat those. And then you've got the standard tweezers uh, in the scales along with the toothpick here. So the scale tools. And then this one is in the comic design. And I went with this because I've started adding the little blurbs to the thumbnails here. Um, to kind of give you a preview or an idea of what to expect or ask a question like just using the blurbs on the thumbnail comic book style and so I thought why not embrace that so there we go we have the uh, comic rambler it is the small rambler it is the same the 58 millimeter so the same small form of the classic which I've carried for a while now I've actually carried the classic since I did a week challenge a one week long challenge of only carrying the classic as my blade and I loved it I, I didn't love it I wanted a knife but I loved seeing how much I actually use it. So much so that since that time, I've had a Swiss Army Classic in my pocket and it just got upgraded to the Rambler. So the Swiss Army Knife Classic has the knife, 
the file and the scissors, this is adding in that tool. Like that's the only difference is this tool right here, but it adds to very tiny bit of thickness. But for me, having this driver right here, it's, it's worth the slight thickness it adds and it is an itty bitty tool. So highly recommend the Rambler. Let me know your favorite 50 millimeter uh, knife. If you were to pick a 58 millimeter Swiss Army knife, which one would it be and why? Because now I'm fascinated and want to try them all. So the classic, 100%, if that's your 58 millimeter choice, rock on, I'm right there with you. If it is the Rambler, yeah, if, if you need the driver or use the driver or the bottle opener or cap lifter or wire stripper or orange peeler or whatever else you wanna use it for, yes, definitely worth the upgrade. Um, but what other options are there? Let me know and let me know your favorite. Uh, down here in my lower leg pocket here, I have a uh, Zippo, that is a brass Zippo. Nothing is still rocking out strong for me. Got a little bit of cash in the back pocket. I am still rocking the Skull Candy, I mean Skull Candy, <laughs> I am. Uh, in this pocket, I have a Lone Star Hanks. That is the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's Halloween time, so let's embrace it love that movie love that hank and then i believe i told you last time that i had gotten some new earbuds in and i'm actually rocking one of them i have the raycon uh these are the everyday earbuds and so these are uh in ear as opposed to the standard ones i use that hang down this one is actually in the ear and I really, really like them. Uh, the problem I have is earbuds like to fall out of my ears, especially when I'm talking. And so like I'm, I use the um, AirPod Pros as my mics when I record videos. I end up, I end up putting, uh, hopefully the, the audio is still connected, but I end up putting a wing tip on it to get it to sit in my ear properly and not fall out. They all want to fall out while I talk. And I've used all different sizes of earbud pieces. And I realized like, I just have, I guess, small ear canals or small ear shapes. And so they want to fall out. And so I've, I've tried tons and tons and tons of them. And uh, honestly, I order them on Amazon. I'll order a set of earbuds on Amazon, try them out. And if they fall out, they get sent back and I try a new pair. The AirPod Pros work excellently with Apple products, but they uh, they fall out of my ears. So when I when I'm like using them as noise canceling while I'm cutting grass or doing work, no problem. But if I'm going to take a phone call on them or film a video, I put the wingtip on so it stays in, but the wingtips don't fit on in the charging case, so it's a trade off there. So I've got the Raycons here, and they go like they sit, you know, like right here. Like you, the bottom part's here and it goes up and just kind of sits in the, the crevice of your ear and they don't fall out, which is freaking awesome. I love that. So uh, definitely digging the Raycon every day. The noise canceling, I don't even, I've tried so many earbuds recently. I don't even know if, I believe they have noise canceling and I believe they have an awareness mode, but neither one wow me like my uh, Skull Candy Indies or these AirPod Pros. Like both of those in active noise canceling, like you hear nothing and it's incredible. And then in like awareness mode, I can hear full conversations and my audio becomes background, which is what I want. I have a three-year-old. I want to hear my three-year-old and know that he's okay and, you know, not causing a ruckus. Silence with kiddos is scary. So I want to hear him. But uh, with these everyday earbuds, they fit great in my ear. They work really well um, when I'm around people and want to hear them. But if I want to shut out the world and turn on the active noise canceling, those don't wow me and shut everything out like the other two do. So I do have a couple more um, I've got that I'm going to show you, but those have made the cut. Like they are now my in-pocket earbuds. If I need the actual like intense noise canceling, those are normally, I have a pair in my bag. I have a pair on my desk here uh, in my office at the house. So I've got them around and can grab them. But as far as like on person in pocket, these Raycons work really well. They allow me to hear stuff while I'm, while I've got them in. And so that works for me. 
And then the last thing that I've got, I've worn for a few weeks because I just love it. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that is my leather belt pouch. Got a little glow fob on it. I don't always talk about that, but it is always on. I have the Kershaw Blur uh, sitting right there. Really nice knife. Love the grip tape on it. The skateboard tape gives it really good texture and you're not you're not gonna lose that knife out of your hand on mistake. Uh, Bastion pen and solid blue. Really like that. That is a great pen. Writes well, looks well, feels nice. And then the Olite Baton 3 Pro. So that's a full size flashlight. That has been uh, tiger stripe camoed. And all three of those fit perfectly in here. The flashlight just hides up inside of there. You can't have a longer flashlight because it's open, but I like that this one is is almost the size. Like it it wears well on the leather. Uh, the leather is wearing well. No holes yet. Definitely some wear spots because I wear it a lot. But just a great way to carry some heavy pieces of gear and not have them on person. And it's these kind of items, these full size items that are more on my person and less have to be on my belt in the winter time because I am wearing pants where I carry, you know, easily carry a full size knife. You know, I have the ability to throw, you know, a flashlight in a pants pocket or a jacket pocket. So these items and fixed blades and all kinds of things like that are the fun items that come out in the winter time because the clothes allow me to wear it and conceal it and even belt pouches you're throwing a hoodie on or a jacket on these are virtually uh indistinguishable you can't tell someone has it on so that's what i've carried this past week let me know what you've carried and definitely let me know your favorite 58 millimeter small swiss army knife because apparently I need to try them. All I've tried before is the classic and it is a classic. It is great. Get you one, get you seven and use them. But using the Rambler, I realized there are, there are more than I thought and they're actually useful. So let me know your favorite. I have a really, really cool piece of gear coming. Should be here in the next few days. So it'll probably be on the next pocket dump. And, uh, yeah, exciting things happen. And so thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts on the pocket dump, what you've carried, what you like Swiss Army Knife, not what Swiss Army Knife wise. And I'll be back with new content soon. Thanks so much. And remember, EDC, EDC.